right, so another type of temperature scale that we haven't talked about that you might encounter, especially if you took a chemistry class or something along those lines, is called a Kelvin. So Kelvins um, was actually originally invented by, um, or suggested, by Sir William Kelvin in 1848. He was a British uh, mathematician and physicist. Uh, kind of an interesting guy. Um, and so, uh, Kelvin is just another unit to measure temperature, just like Fahrenheit and Celsius. Uh, and we have a uh, scale that, uh, or a, excuse me, an, a relationship between Celsius and Kelvin that's actually pretty easy to remember. Um, the Kelvin temperature is just the Celsius temperature plus 273.5. One five. Um, so, yeah, your Kelvin temperatures are going to be much larger than your Fahrenheit temperatures or your Celsius temperatures. So you'll have much bigger numbers. So a 300 degrees uh, Kelvin would be very a very um, wouldn't be uh, it sound would be a huge number if we said 300 degrees Celsius, but 300 degrees Kelvin is, is not um, that much. So it's, it's 273.515 more than the Celsius temperature, than the equivalent Celsius temperature. So let's do a couple examples. Um, so the first example I have um, says to convert 0 degrees Celsius to, um, or excuse me, wrong way. It says to convert 0 degrees Kelvins, and we use capital K to represent Kelvin, and we actually don't use a degree symbol. So we would just say zero Kelvins to Celsius. Okay, so if I wanted to do that, uh, I just plug it into my formula up here. I put zero equals C plus 273.15, and again, I'm solving a little simple equation. I subtract 273.15 and I get negative, because 0 minus 273.15 is just negative 273.15 equals C. Um, and this actually is kind of a cool um, number. 0 degrees Kelvin is actually what we call absolute 0. So it's the lowest theoretically possible temperature. Um, and so that would be negative 273.15 degrees Celsius, which, as you can imagine, it is pretty cold. Um, zero degrees Celsius is the point at which water freezes. I don't know if you knew that. 100 degrees Celsius is the point at which water boils. So that's one nice thing about um, using the metric system to measure scale, that Celsius temperature. Uh, you know exactly where it's easy to remember where freezing and when, where water boiling is. So negative 273.15 degrees is the lo theoretically the lowest temperature um, you could have. Um, <coughs> So let's do another example. So I've got another example. Um, not as fancy. Not doesn't end up with as cool of a result. But I want to convert, it's a little bit harder, 250 Kelvins to Fahrenheit. Okay, so before we were converting to Celsius, and now we want to convert to Fahrenheit. Uh, and my, as you can see, my uh, my equation here relates Celsius to Kelvin. But if I can get the Celsius temperature, can I get the, the Fahrenheit temperature? Do we have a relationship between F Fahrenheit and Celsius? We sure do. So what we'll do is we'll take and convert to Celsius, and then we'll take that Celsius temperature and convert it to Fahrenheit. So Celsius, um, I have using our equation here, I'm going to 250 in for K, because that's my Kelvins, and I have C plus 273.15. Sometimes if you look this equation up, you'll see that they'll round that 0.15. Um, all right, so I subtract 273 from both sides, and I get negative 23.15 when I subtract from 250 is my Celsius temperature. So negative 23.15 Celsius. All right, and now I'm going to take that Celsius temperature and plug into our formula that we had for Celsius and Fahrenheit. And if you remember it, it's F equals 
1.8c plus 32. So I'm going to do is take this negative 23.5 and put it in, or 0.15, excuse me, put it in for my Celsius. And there we go. And now I just have to put this in my calculator. I multiply, so I multiply first, right? Order of operations. 1.8 times negative 23.15 is going to give me negative 41.67. That's a decimal point. And then I still have to add 32. And when I add the 32, I get negative 9.67. So 250 kelvins is the same thing as negative 9.67 degrees Fahrenheit. So Kelvins are um, much, our temperature in Kelvins would be much higher than what we would have um, for the uh, written down numerically for Fahrenheit.